Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. We got a new little charger from Gen's Ace. This is the brand new iMars 3 charger. So I guess it's the third generation of this line of chargers. Just came out a few weeks ago and uh, thanks to Gen's Ace for sending this out to me for a quick look. So here it is, the GEA 100WM3. So uh, what this is, is a 100 watt charger. We got some specs here on the back. Uh, it's an AC charger, goes up to five amps. Her watts, as I mentioned, uh, up to 6S LiPo, or up to uh, basically like 18S nickel metal hydride. These are all the different batteries it supports, LiPo, Life, Lithium High Voltage, and nickel metal hydride, which is pretty much the four that you definitely want uh, out of a charger for RC. And uh, some little information about how to, you know, what sort of temps and stuff to run. 0.4 kilograms, so we're gonna take a quick look at this in the box. Here's what you get. Small compact little charger, kind of a nice white case. Um, also in the box, let's take a look at what else we got. So we got a little manual here. Um, looks like it's in English and Chinese. So a lot of information on how to use it, um, Chinese and English. So yeah, definitely take a quick look because there are a lot of features in these chargers. I highly recommend you uh, read through the manuals um, because there are a lot of sort of configuration things you can do. Here's a little balance port, tells you how to hook it up. A little connection wires for that. Uh, looks like a few different, ooh, nice. So three different um, battery plugs. So it's XT60 coming out of the charger and then it's gonna be either uh, sort of a Dean's T-plug type connector, EC5 and EC3 is what it comes with. So super happy to see the EC5 because that's what I run. And then here's your little AC power cord. No little big uh, converter or anything like that. And let's take a look at the actual charger. So pretty compact, I mean about the size of my hand. Um, sort of a metal and plastic type Case. It's got a little folding stand, I think. Let's see how does this work. Let me get this out. Nice little stand, and I believe it's got a fan on the bottom. Uh, input is that AC plug, and then outputs you got the balance board, which you definitely always want to use. Uh, nice little 5 volt uh, USB port, so if you want to charge your phone or something, that's pretty cool. And then the XT60 uh, connector, as I mentioned. Okay, we got everything all plugged in. AC cord connected. I've got a Genzase 3S 5000 milliamp hour battery connected on EC5. And so just kinda wanna talk about the charger itself. So uh, before you use any charger, I highly recommend you take a look at the system settings. Uh, so these are kinda like light touch buttons that you don't even have to push them down. There's sort of capacitor type buttons. So you just kinda hit enter and then go through the different options. So safety timer is kind of an automatic cutoff. So uh, if you got the charger running, charging for like, uh, you know, two hours, maybe you want to automatically shut off because, you know, no battery should take more than two hours to charge. Uh, you also have a capacity cutoff. So uh, let's say the maximum size battery you ever use is like 5,000 milliamp hours. Then you would want to set this to like 5,000 milliamp hours. Uh, if you have 6,500 milliamp hours and you would set 6,500, basically the biggest size battery you ever use is what you would want to set the capacity cutoff to. And then there's a button keep beep on off a buzzer on off you know when the thing's done charging and then it looks like some kind of test mode I don't think that's for uh, the, the consumer maybe that's for the factory to reset the thing doesn't seem to be anything in the manual about that uh, and then it tells you the version number of the software so going back is this left button and we'll go through the other different menu options so uh, this is the main charge menu. Looks like there's, I think, 12 different uh, menu options. So you just select the one you want. N1 looks like it's nickel metal hydride charge, uh, lipo discharge, life charge, whatever. So you kind of get the one that you want. In this case, it's lipo, but uh, I'm gonna go to lipo charge. That's fine. But you should always be uh, balanced charging and not uh, just regular charging. 
balance charge make sure that every cell is charged the same amount if you just go regular charge it just charges through this connector you could have one that's at like you know 4.5 volts and one that's at like 3.9 volts and it's going to read to like 8.4 like on a 2s so that's not going to be right always do lipo cell balance charging and then uh, you go down to the amps that you want in this case i always charge at 1c so that would be five amps 5000 milliamps is five amps the one thing I would say about this charger is the menu is a little slow. The display is a little on the slow side. And then, of course, you want to run it the number of cells that you actually have. So this is 3S, and you got the thing configured. And then you should just hold down the start button here. And then you got to confirm by hitting it again. And then it'll start charging. So this is pretty typical software that's running on this very much like all the, a lot of other chargers out there. So if you're familiar with other chargers or this kind of display, this kind of uh, menu system, then you'll be very familiar with this one. Um, and you should be able to see the different cell voltages while it's running. Okay, and then uh, yeah, it'll just charge. So this is a 100 watt charger. What that means is you gotta divide 100 watts by the, the maximum voltage of a battery when it's fully charged. So for example, a 2S battery is gonna be 8.4 volts on LiPo. A uh, 6S battery is going to be 25.2 volts on LiPo, so 100 watts divided by 25, so that's approximately the maximum charge you'll get. So you'll get probably a little under 4 amps uh, when charging a 6S, and then everything else will go up to a max 5 amps. Um, just kind of some basic math, uh, depending on what the maximum uh, milliamp hour capacity is. So yeah, that's pretty much it on the Gens A. Seems like a nice little basic charger. Um, certainly a big improvement over like these giant uh old chargers that you know people used to run this is like my first charger and you can see it's like a 50 watt uh, 6s charger it's like twice the size as this one with half the uh, amps and half the half the wattage basically so a nice little charger from gens a seems like a pretty nice uh kind of entry level charger it sells for about 50 dollars here in the united states so uh definitely check them out and i'll put a link to this charger in the description below so anyways thanks for watching Definitely hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Look for more videos soon. Take care.